mainly two types of butterfly valves are there one is centric butterfly valve this is centric butterfly valve this is the body and this yellow portion is the disc and this red one is the shaft so pipe central line and valve central line and disc central line and shaft central line all are same that means disc and shaft are at pipe central line as well as at valve central line and this green color is the black epidm rubber lining inside the valve body it is called seat of the valve when we open the valve this rotates like this and when we close the valve this is closed like this so always there will be rubbing of disc with this epidm rubber lining or body seat that will soft seat so when we open and close this centric butterfly valve for several times then what happens due to rubbing over the disc the sealing of this valve becomes poor we found leakage through the soft seal of this valve this is centric valve now you can see one centric butterfly valve this is shaft center or valve center and this is also disc center from this side and from this side this is the disc center so this is called centric butterfly valve and this is the soft epidm or nitrile rubber seat that is called body lining or soft seat this is soft so when we close the valve or when we open the valve then always there will be rubbing of the disc with this soft sealing this soft seat so after several opening and closing there will be leakage through this centric butterfly valve because always there is rubbing in between the soft seat and this valve disc while closing and opening the valve now this seat is replaceable type this seat you can see here and this side also this is actually common slip type thing which has been placed over the valve body so this seat is replaceable can be replaced when we found leakage through the valve so if we find some leakage is there through the valve we can replace this seat so that entire valve need not be replaced by replacing only this body seat we can reuse the valve now you can see how soft seat is being removed from a butterfly valve this is the new soft seat which is being mounted inside the body of butterfly valve after replacing the damaged soft seat now this is another centric butterfly valve this is the disc center or shaft center which is at valve body center and from this side also the shaft center and disc center are at valve center and this mm -hmm. is the lining this rubber lining is bonded this is not replaceable this rubber lining is fixed and valve opens and closes like this this is open this is the disc center and valve center at center 
and valve closes like this. So, when we close the valve like this, there is rubbing between this inner lining and disc and this lining is bonded. That means if there is leakage through this seat and disc face, then we cannot replace this seat. We have to replace the entire valve. So, in centric butterfly valve, we find that there will be leakage through the valve due to rubbing of this soft seat. That's why concept of eccentric butterfly valve has come. This is eccentric butterfly valve arrangement. This is the valve body and the disc is offset from valve center. This is the shaft. So this is actually offset one. So this valve is called single eccentric butterfly valve. This is having only one linear offset. That means center of disc is little bit offset from valve center. This valve will provide little bit better sealing quality than centric butterfly valve. But usually single offset valve is not used or not available in the market. Usually double offset butterfly valve is available in the market and double offset means it is like this. This is second offset. So first offset is the offset of disc from valve center and second offset is offset of shaft and disc from pipeline center. So in this configuration this is called double offset or double eccentric butterfly valve. In double offset or double eccentric butterfly valve usually soft seal, soft PTAP seal used here, circular seal like this, here this circular seal and disc sits over the circular seal. So there is no direct rubbing and it is having better sealing capacity and it is used for high pressure and high temperature service even for cryogenic service. This is double offset or double eccentric butterfly valve. This is the white PTFE circular seal of a double eccentric butterfly valve. Now in case of triple offset butterfly valve, there will be another offset that is the disc is cut at taper angle like this. And body is projected like this. This is the body and this is the taper angle. And this side body is projected like this but this side disc is straight. So the third offset is this taper angle. This taper angle is called third offset. So first offset is linear, second offset is also linear but this third offset is conical due to, due to taper shape of 50% disc on this side and this is the conical angle, this is the ceiling cone, this angle is called third offset but 50% of the disc this side is having straight which sits over the body here. 
This is one gear operated stainless steel triple offset butterfly valve. This type of triple offset butterfly valve is having zero leakage and bubble type shut off sealing. That's why this type of butterfly valve is suitable for high pressure and high temperature service. Even this type of triple offset butterfly valve is costlier than gate or globe valve. Now let us see all the three offsets. Now this is the disc and this is the shaft and this is valve body. So you can see the disc is inside. That means from shaft center or valve center, disc center is here. So this is the offset. This is first offset. If disc center is somewhere here, then this is the first offset. And second offset is, you can see this is the center of valve or center of shaft and this is the disc. This distance is little bit more and this distance is little bit less. That means disc is towards this side little bit. So this distance and this distance is not same. So this offset, this little offset in this direction is second offset. Now let us see the hard offset. Now I am opening the valve. Disc is opening, disc is opening. So if you see from this side, this side disc is straight. This is straight. But this side disc, you can see, this side disc is tapered. This is tapered. This is the taper face, third offset. This taper face sits over the taper body seat. Sits over the taper body. This is tapered. This side you can see, this side is tapered. This side is tapered. This side body is tapered. In this tapered portion, this tapper seat, this tapper face sits like this. Now you can see how how this tapper disc sits over the tapper seat, and this side actually plain. Now you can see this tapper disc is sitting over the tapper body. Like this. But this side is straight. This side is tapered. So this type of triple offset butterfly valve is having metal to metal contact. There is no soft seat or soft seal. That's why this type of butterfly valve is bidirectional. Bidirectional. And this type of triple offset butterfly valve is also having higher safe design. That means in closed condition, In closed condition, if, if there is any fire in this side piping or in this side piping, that fire cannot travel through this valve or fluid in this portion of pipeline cannot pass through the valve in case of fire 
inside the pipeline as well as outside the pipeline. That's why this valve is of fire safe design as per API 607. Now we are closing the valve. Since there is no soft seal during closing and opening, there is no rubbing effect. That's why this type of triple offset butterfly valve is very easy to operate. That means very easy to open or close. And at shut off condition, it only sits over the body. That means there is only single point contact. So, since there is no soft seal, there is no rubbing effect and there is no non-metallic soft seal, life of this type of butterfly valve is huge and sealing is bubble type shut off. That means zero leakage. That's why this type of triple offset butterfly valve is used for very high pressure and very high temperature service. Now, this type of triple offset or eccentric butterfly valve, even centric butterfly valve should not be installed in this type of vertical position. If we install in vertical shaft position, then what will happen? Lot of debris, dust and particles will accumulate in this bottom shaft zone. That means here. And later on, that will prevent rotation of the shaft, that means rotation of the valve disc. Here, lot of debris can accumulate at this point. So, prefer installation orientation of centric as well as eccentric as well as this type of triple offset butterfly valve will be in shaft horizontal plane like this. So that all debris will pass through the valve. There will not be any accumulation in the shaft area. So that there will not be any problem for operating the valve in future.